Hey guys, so I've been working on a project that I've wanted to do for a very long time and that is to polish and detail my car and I've always been wanting to do it myself and not have someone do it for me and so I finally have all the products gathered um, and ready to do it on my car and it's late at night right now and I've been preparing my car for tomorrow so I can get an early start tomorrow in the morning. Um, so, so far what I've done was um, put some touch up paint in the front of my car, the front end of my car, uh, where the rocks have hit my paint and uh, chipped away some of the paint. Um, so hopefully when I polish it, it kind of levels out that touch of paint with the rest of the paint. Um, also, I mean, I've had this car for six years now. Um, I got it brand new, and I didn't really know how to take care of the paint throughout those six years. Um, I've just been doing regular car washes and taking it to car washes which is not really good for your paint it scratches your uh, clear coat and I have swirl marks all over my clear coat from um, just regularly going to car washes so I'm gonna probably stop doing that so what I've done this evening is printed out um, pictures of each side of the car that way I have a little layout and I went around the car and I inspected the car for any like major scratches that are uh, really noticeable that stood out to me and what I did was on those pieces of paper with each side of the car I'll show you um, I would mark where those scratches are so that tomorrow when I'm working on fixing those scratches I don't have to search for them anymore I'll just know where they are by looking at the picture so the method that I'm going to be using to polish my car, it's combined from another YouTuber, from Chris Fix. Uh, he has a video on how he deep cleans his um, car. So I I'm going to use half of his method, and I'm going to um, add on um, the polishing part because he doesn't really polish um, his paint. Um, so I'll just run through the steps real quick and show you the products that I'm going to be using tomorrow that we just have a general idea of what I'm going to do. So the first thing we're going to do is, I already had my car washed today, that's why it's sitting inside the garage so it doesn't get that little pull in overnight. So for step one I'm going to be using Chris Fix method which is going to include using dish soap to just this time to uh, wash my car um, so that way it strips any wax and any oils off of the paint off of the clear coat. Um, once I've washed the car with the dish soap, I'm going to dry it and I'm going to use soapy water and I'm going to clay, clay bar the whole car. Uh, what I bought was a clay bar kit. This one came from Walmart. I'm going to try and link all these products um, for you guys in the description. So that way you uh, you can, if you want, you can buy it. Um, next step after clay barring the whole car, what I'm going to do is do any paint correction. So all those big scratches that I found and I have and I marked on my paper, I'm going to refer back to them and I'm going to use sandpaper. Um, I'm not sure which grit I'll use yet. I'll uh, let you know tomorrow and I'm going to sand it um, just the bigger scratches, I'm going to sand the bigger scratches and then once I have that done the next step is to start polishing loud motorcycle <laughs> so after sanding the major scratches I'm going to start polishing the car and I bought um, it's a three 3 phase 3M polishing compound and there's three of them Here, let me show you there's three different three uh, it's three phase so I'm gonna do first one second one the third one and I'll be using um, I don't really have a professional polishing polisher so I'll be using a cheaper um, cheaper black decker polisher hopefully this one works um, and I bought 
to polish I bought wool bonnets and then for the finishing stage I'm going to use these blue ones these are microfiber after I'm done polishing the next step would be to seal the paint and I bought this really expensive um, ceramic coating uh, there you go I'll link that as well after the car is polished we pretty much take off a little layer of clear coat right so we're gonna apply that um, ceramic coating onto the car just to add that extra protection and then maybe on top of that we'll just apply some regular wax and that's about it for that process really late at night so I'm, my brain's uh, starting to malfunction burning myself out and uh, alright I'll see you guys tomorrow Alright guys, so yesterday um, what we did was we found all the scratches and we kind of got the car ready and today what we've done so far is we've de decontaminated the car so we used um, dish, dish soap to wash the car and get rid of any oils and any wax that was on it so when you use like um, car soap there's sometimes there's wax in it so you want to um, decontaminate your car first and then uh, clay barred the car, the whole entire car. Um, with the McGuire's clay bar, that takes a little a little while, but once you get a little once you get the feel for it, um, the process kind of speeds up. So what I used was the clay bar and um, soapy water, and the soap uh, was from the same dish dishwashing soap that I was using earlier. And um, after that, I went out because I didn't have enough microfiber towels. I bought I went out to Costco and got these yellow ones. This is what they look like. So what the packaging look like, looks like because you want really really soft microfiber towels and after clay barring you want to give your car another car wash um, using that dishwashing soap to kind of get rid of any of the um, contaminants but um, it's the sun is out outside so everything's going to dry on the paint so what I did was I used uh, one of these um, these yellow yellow towels from Costco and uh, I dunked one into the soapy water and used another one to um, wipe it dry. That's not the perfect way to do it, but that's what I have right now because it is hot outside and, there, and everything dries on the paint. So next step is I have, um, you've seen me yesterday, printing out these little drawings and I found all the scratches kind of like the major big the bigger major scratches on the car and I marked them on these pieces of paper so that today I could find them all and um, next step is to use sandpaper probably gonna go with like 3,000 grit and then 5,000 and wet sand them and so so we can get rid of those bigger scratches so that's kind of the next step and after that we'll go into polishing I've never done it before so I uh, have my fingers crossed hopefully that works out and I don't mess up this um, clear coat and paint um, yeah, so that's where we at. we're at right now, and I'll, uh, and let me tell you, after clay barring the car and getting rid of all those contaminants and oils, um, the, the paint looks so much, so much better, a hundred times better. A lot of water spots went away, but the little finer scratches that you get from going to car washes, those are still there. I can see them, um, I don't even need a light for them, I can really see them. So we're going to need to get rid of those. Mm -hmm. 